Did you know that you can store files in ChurchTrack? So whether it's Word docs, MP3 files, PDFs, and all other sorts of file types, we've got you covered. So let me show you how to use it. To get started with file storage, you wanna to go to your settings screen in ChurchTrack. And then from here, you'll access the file storage tab. Now from here, I can either select the file storage Dropbox here, or I can just simply drag and drop a file in here. So if I want to, I can upload this file by just dragging and dropping it in here. And there we go, I've got my student camp promo slide. Now, whenever you upload files to file storage, you have the option to edit your files and rename them, things like that. So to do that, you just select the file. So for example, I have this James Sermon Series booklet. I can select that file. And from here, I can change the file name if I want. I can put a description for the particular file. And I can say this is, this is our, I gotta be able to learn how to type first. This is our booklet for the upcoming series. And it tells me how large the file is and I can move it to another folder from here. I can download the file and you can also make files shareable, which I think a lot of situations are gonna happen where you want to share a file. And then you can actually take this URL that we generate for you and then you can put that in an email, put it in a text message or however you want to share a file. So if it's some sort of file that you need to get to your entire church, you can easily do that by just making it shareable. Now, when it comes to managing your files, we have this action button. And when you select that button, it gives you the ability to do things like add folders. Uh, you can check off all the files at once if you wanna do that. You can uncheck them, you can move them, and sort them in different ways as well. So just a really easy way to kind of manage things, um, being able to just quickly check a couple files, maybe move those check files to a specific folder if I wanted to do that, I can do that, very easy. So that is how you use the actions button. Now, one more thing I do wanna point out before we jump over to managing user permissions is that you have access to all these different files that are stored in ChurchTrack beyond just your general file storage, but you can quickly look at any files that are in gallery cards that are on your worship screen, on your accounting screen. It'll actually show all these files just so it gives you the ability to maybe kind of occasionally diagnosed to see like, do you have a lot of files that maybe you don't need any longer? I like this a lot just because I can quickly browse through some of the files in my worship screen and from here see that maybe I have certain songs that I got too much information on here and I wanna kind of eliminate some files. So you can do that too. Now, when it comes to going to the user accounts, this is where you actually manage the user permissions of file storage. And so you just select the user that you wish to adjust the permissions for and then from here, scroll down, and we have the little toggle here for managing file storage, which you can turn on or off for that user. So that is file storage. Uh, if you want to learn more about the other features in ChurchTrack, just go to churchtrack.com support. Uh, you can easily search our entire user guide to find all of the answers that you are looking for in seconds. And be sure to check out our YouTube channel. It is filled with over 150 different videos, everything from how to manage file storage to being able to use accounting and so much more. Well, I have got some files to upload. See you next time.